In this video we'll be examining virtual to virtual conversions or converting virtual machine formats from say Microsoft to VMware. In this video we'll use a downloadable Windows Server 2008 R2 VHD file for Hyper-V that you can download free of charge from Microsoft's website. We're going to use a uh, software called WinImage to go ahead and do the actual conversion. Um, you can download WinImage through their website via winimage.com and uh, they have a free 30-day trial that you can go ahead and download. I've already gone ahead and downloaded the image so now all we need to do is tell WinImage that we're going to be converting a virtual hard disk. Uh, so let's go ahead, we'll select the file that we downloaded, we'll go ahead and open that, but you also notice that we could select a VMware file too, so you could actually go the other way um, from ESX to Hyper-V. We'll create a dynamically expanding disk here, click OK. Um, now we need to actually save our file that it's going to use, so we'll need to change that to VMDK, um, and we'll go ahead and we'll remove this full edition text here just so we can visually tell without having to look at the file extensions uh, what the actual file is. So now the actual conversion process is started and if you look at the window behind me you'll actually see that file size increasing as the video progresses. Just another note about WinImage um, you can actually do P2V conversions or physical to virtual conversions as well with this software. So if you're planning on taking an existing server and making it virtual, uh, you can go ahead and use WinImage if you wanted to. Now I could have used a multitude of uh, other software packages that are out there such as vCenter Converter or Virtual Machine Manager, but in this case I find that WinImage um, tends to be more reliable and a little bit quicker when converting images over to VMDK. Um, that's just my experience. I have no you know, facts or anything like that. That's just my preferences. Uh, and in my experience. So, now it's actually done, so we just need to select the uh, primary partition of the image. Usually that's the smaller of the two, if there are two. Go ahead and click that, click OK, um, and we're ready to actually boot the image. Unfortunately, I have a 32-bit laptop and Windows Server 2008 R2 is 64-bit only. So I'll actually need this, need to move this file over to my ESX server uh, and boot it up from there. The first thing that we have to do is we actually have to transfer it to the actual data store um, for ESX. So we'll go ahead, we'll create some type of you know, intelligent folder here. Okay, now we can go ahead and upload uh, this file to the actual data store. We'll select our VDMK file, and you can tell that it was created just a minute ago, so go ahead and upload that. And this actually will take uh, quite a bit of time to transfer to my data store, so we're going to go ahead and fast forward. Alright, so now it's uploaded and now we gotta go through the process of actually creating a virtual machine using an existing uh, VMDK file. Uh, this process is gonna be similar to what you would have to do with virtual PC or uh, Hyper-V, but you basically need to create uh, the virtual machine and then attach the hard disk to it. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll create a new virtual machine on my ESX host. and we'll need to specify that it's custom so we get the option to select an existing hard drive. Go ahead and name it something intelligent. Alright, now specify the data store that it's going to go on. VM version 7 is fine. Uh, now tell it that the OS is going to be server 2008 R2. Uh, give it four processors in this case. Go ahead and uh, the RAM looks fine, four gigs. Um, now I'm going to actually have to change the, the VM network so we have internet access uh, so I can activate it. 
Uh, this is the point where we're actually going to choose the hard disk that we just uploaded to our data store. So we'll go ahead and we'll go browse for that guy. Our new folder should be all the way at the bottom here. And there's the image. Okay. So now we're all just about finished, except for the fact that I like to edit my virtual machines uh, just to remove the floppy. I have no clue. Um, normally I don't ever have a use for a floppy, so I just go ahead and remove it. Now we'll go ahead, we'll power this guy on. Uh, and this is basically just to show you that the actual virtual machine is functional. It does work. Um, that I've had no problems converting any of the uh, Microsoft uh, pre-formatted, pre-made VHD trial softwares. So go ahead, we'll open up a console. Um, and if you're looking for the login information, if you downloaded the same image that I showed in the video, the login information is actually on the download page uh, from Microsoft. So you'll need to get grab that information. So we'll go ahead, we'll just type in our login information, log in, and one of the things you'll note when I log in is that it starts in installing uh, device drivers, and that's just replacing the existing drivers um, that the other image had in it. Um, you'll also need to install um, VMware tools because this is uh, VMware. So now we have a fully functional Server 2008 uh, 180-day trial image that we can go ahead and use for uh, whatever purposes we might see fit. Thank you for watching, and uh, check out the blog to get more information. I also have links on there where you can actually go through and uh, download the same files that I showed you here in this video.